Macular degeneration is a really common condition that affects older adults, starting age 55 and 60. And what happens in the eye, in the retina, which is like the film in your camera that processes light signals, the macula is the very center part of the retina. And in macular degeneration, the byproducts of the visual cycle accumulate underneath the retina and cause it to break down or degenerate. And that causes gaps in the central vision, even blind spots, and sometimes even blindness in the central vision. Usually the process is bilateral, meaning it affects both eyes. Sometimes it's asymmetric, but in more advanced stages, sometimes a person can be bilaterally centrally blind, which means they would not be able to see a person's face to look at their expression, for example, to read the time on their watch or to read a menu, uh, to look at ingredients, to look at the labels on their medications. So it, it is very impactful. This is amazing technology. So the, the device, the Prima device, is surgically implanted underneath the retina in the area where the retina is degenerated, where there's a loss of photoreceptors. So it's, it slides underneath. There is no cable or wire, which is very important for safety. The patient wears a pair of glasses, clear glasses with a camera mounted on it. The camera records the visual scene in front of them and converts, there's a pocket computer processor that converts those images and simplifies them into pixels. And then infrared light is shown, and that is actually how the implant is powered. It's like a little solar panel. It's powered by the infrared light. And then those little pixels or photodiodes, we call them, stimulate the overlying intact retina the way photoreceptors would. And that allows the, uh, the rest of the retina to convert those electrical impulses into vision, and it's transmitted through the optic nerve back into the occipital cortex to the brain where, to make prosthetic vision, to restore vision. The study involved 38 patients who were implanted at 17 European sites between 2021 and 2022. And in all 38 of these patients, the implant was placed under their retina. And then we collected data. We looked at how the patients functioned with and without the camera and the device working at different time points. And so the main endpoint of the study was at 12 months after implantation or one year after implantation. And remarkably, 81% of these patients improved by at least two lines on the eye chart. The exciting thing here is that not only could this benefit patients with macular degeneration, but also other retinal degenerations, like for example, Stargardt disease, retinitis pigmentosa. These patients also have very little in the way of restorative therapies available to them.